Hello and welcome to the episode, everybody. I hope everyone had a, a great Eid weekend, if you celebrate that. Um, Fatfood, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. I celebrated by going to Dubai and having fun with my family. So you had was, a long weekend. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah, it yeah. was really good. Yeah, I saw some uh, family and friends as well. Had a chill weekend. We got to get back to work today. We are recording this Sundays. Tuesday morning, not uh, not Monday or sorry, not Tuesday, not Sunday when we usually do. It was because of the aid break. So this episode is going to come out a bit late. Some of the news might be a bit outdated by now, but and who cares? It's it's our show. We'll do what we it. want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah we definitely good. need to talk about it. So let's we just... haven't talked about it, so that's what counts. Like we that's need to what discuss counts. It. If we haven't talked about it, you guys haven't heard about it yet. Exactly. Right? That's that's the whole deal. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, that's gonna bite us in the ass at some point what? in the future. I have a feeling <laughs> that cockiness. Internet um, biting us in the back in the future? That's unheard of. What are you talking about? Never, never gonna happen. That's not how the internet works. But anyways, let's jump straight into the first topic. This is a, a big deal, bigger than it might seem on the surface to some people. But Ubisoft so. is shutting down online functionalities for well over like a dozen games, I think, even close to two dozen games. They're shutting down yep. the online services. Yep. Now, uh, they right. mentioned in their blog that the reason they're doing that is because they want to basically reallocate their resources from those games into the games that people already love to play, like, you know, the popular titles that they're playing. And these uh, services will, will be shutting down on September 1st. So they gave us two months notice, less, really. It's, it's, a, it's a very short notice, but, like, it sucks because the online component of these games are not going to be supported anymore. And, like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be, um, uh, what do you call it? trophies that you're going to miss out on for these things or achievements oh that you can't yeah unlock. yeah exactly yeah so the games will be incomplete right because these online components as you mentioned are, will not be available like the trophy system and whatnot and then as an experience you know a lot of games might have um you know like multiplayer whether it's got a co-op multiplayer or um just like a online multiplayer sort of aspect to it that'll be gone if you were a fan of that then i'm sorry you're like after september 1st you will not be able to access these what's also weird is that you won't be able to download dlcs as well so that's also another aspect for these games that you'll be missing out on if you were planning on either buying the game now or if you already had it or whatnot and you didn't really um, go through the whole game yet, you won't have DLCs. So, so obviously these titles are not the popular titles out there. Uh, just really quickly. No, some it's... are. Come on. Some are. Okay, at least they're not, I mean, not popular now. Maybe not a lot of people are playing them or, or not a lot of people are playing the online function like the online game modes of these titles okay so we have uh assassin's creed 2 assassin's creed 3 the 2012 release mm -hmm. uh assassin's creed brotherhood uh liberation hd and revelations of far cry 3 the 2012 release and space junkies and a bunch more but these are the ones yeah. that kind of stood out to me uh the remastered editions are not affected so this is just for like the original releases i guess does it make sense would it make sense to like um, offer the game at a discount for the other games if the online functionality is going to be gone and DLCs you won't be able to download and all that sort I of stuff. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it will be discounted. I think they'll just be. You won't be able to buy them anymore. Like. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is, do you think that they should? Because it now until won't be then. And and then like even afterwards, like from September first, do you think they, it should be discounted because? The game is incomplete at this point. You... I think they should be free, not discounted. Completely free at this stage. I mean, no. Some games have like you know, you know, campaign modes and and like a, a solo, one yeah. kind of thing. Doesn't mean that the game should be free. I'm just saying discounted because an aspect of the game is gone. You won't be able to like play the multiplayer stuff. You won't be able to get the trophy <sighs> stuff. You won't be able to get the DLCs. So the I game mean, is yeah. incomplete. Which is why until I think... they until they start selling you the remastered version, that's why they focus on remastered. So they want to repackage it and sell it to you again at full price. Hence well, yeah, why, I mean, it's a I it's a big list. It's a it's a big list of games. I don't think they're going to be remastering all of them. 
I, at least I don't Assassin's know. Creed. Like I feel like these are and Far Cry Three. Uh, I has yeah, it been Far Cry remastered? Three. I don't not? think so. Like that's well, a classic. Like that's one of the best Far Cry games I've played personally. The, well, they mentioned it's uh, the the 2012 release is the one that's going to get the commission, like with the online functionality. So maybe there might have been another like a remaster, or maybe there's something coming up soon. I'm not sure. Uh, but also one more thing to note is that the DLC stuff is only on PC. Consoles are fine if you buy it on a console. If you buy one of these games on a console, like Far Cry 3, for example, then the only thing you're missing out on is not being able to link your account and play multiplayer uh, or use any of the online features. They must have some metric where they see like more online people on consoles than on PC. There has to be oh, yeah. something like that. Definitely. Yeah. They definitely, definitely do. But it's, 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 yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I'm, they're not the first ones to do this, and they won't be the last ones. No, like, definitely not. Yeah, but I think this is maybe the first time that like such a big game, it's just such a big list of games from a big publisher, like you know, was, you know, was announced to be uh, decommissioned. Because mm. usually you might hear about like, oh, like this game or that game, or like you know, shutting down the servers for this, or maybe they shutting down the game completely or something. But Sony tried that. Like Sony was about to like pull the plug on several, or they are going to pull the plug on several of their platforms, like on Vita, PS3, if I'm not mistaken. Oh like, yeah, that was uh, well, yeah, really old platforms. Yeah, but yeah. like these are still playable on PC, for example. So it's true, not like true. they have to like provide support for like an old you know system or old hardware or something the games are old but they're still available on pc space That's junkies true. is a, is a is a like a recent game it's from 2019 um on the oculus and htc5 mm -mm. it's it's odd i don't know and like the other thing is that they've done this before or not no not them doing this before my bad the other thing is that and i want to lead into what was done before why not like just open source the the, the servers, the multiplayer servers, and allow like, people why not just, to like do it, do them themselves? Yeah, yeah, let them just like take it upon themselves. Like, if the reason really is that you know we don't want to spend any man hours on maintaining these servers and whatever like goes into the whole thing, let the people do that. And it has happened before, mm. right? In two thousand and uh, two thousand fifteen, I believe. They shut down support for a game called World in Conflict, which is a 2007 game, mm. right? So in 2015, they... Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a really, really old game. Went on for a few years. And then in 2015, they, they shut down the multiplayer support. But in 2017, they released open source codes for the game's servers. And That's I don't know cool. how it's doing that now, but like... Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's open source, so it's, a, you know, anybody can go in and do what they want to do. Uh, they can fork that source and create their own thing. I believe it's kind of similar to TF2, for example, how you can have mm -hmm. your own local servers here or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not really so sure, but it feels like it's something like that. And there's a big community, like, still this day, you know, behind TF2. Right. I feel like it's going to happen with Assassin's Creed games, especially like 2 and 3 yeah, yeah. and other games. Like, I'm sure exactly. the fans will create a private server and then eventually they will open it up maybe like that's mm. definitely going to happen that's what i feel like that's what's happened continually already like for yeah for like a project uh, if you remember the home uh, playstation home if you remember that project yeah yeah and yeah, had, yeah we talked like, about how they did their own thing yes exactly yeah, and yeah. and they didn't need an open source it was like built from scratch by the community and yeah. they made support for it with official hardware um so it could happen but like it, it would be easier if it was open source like you said yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's not just like Assassin's Creed is obviously the most popular, or the most well-known sort of like franchise in this list. But you sure. also have, like you mentioned, Far Cry 3. There's also Prince of Persia, right? Uh, the Forgotten Sands. I don't know how old that game is, but like... It's a, it's I, a I know brilliant it's game. And they've yeah. already said they're making a remastered yes. version or something. So we know that's in the works. That's yeah. why I guess they're canceling that. But I can't remember the online component, to be honest. Like I played that game forever ago and i don't remember an online component to that game i i, really I wouldn't know yeah. yeah but there's also splinter cell mm. what sucks about that is i know there's people are still waiting for a new splinter cell game that's a huge community like, i i know that. Yeah, yeah yeah and they've been waiting for years and years and years and now with splinter cell blacklist 
it's Funny like name. it's getting chopped off point. even yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> and like you know it's, it's like not only are they not giving them a game like a new game in the franchise and like you know this beloved franchise but they're also decommissioning the online functionality in one of their so games bad. one of the old games blacklist so yeah um this plays into like preservation of games like uh, i'm sure we exactly. mentioned it in some form or another and like people are aware or are scared I wouldn't say scared. Like they are aware. It's like it's it's all very important to preserve games, and like this is one of these reasons why like it should be open source. It should be like with the community. Then if the company stops supporting it, then at least let then the people... you're screwed. Yeah. 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 Exactly. No, I think I think what you said uh, first, or what we also said, like people are scared. I think it's a valid statement. I'm yeah. sure there are a lot of people who are scared. Um, you know losing their games or losing their you know their collection if something goes if something happens with one of the publishers or the developers like the title of this episode is going to be something along the lines of do you own your video games yeah yeah and it's, you especially don't you really age, don't you don't you're renting yeah, yeah, you the know. games that's what they want you to you're you're to not renting them you're your own license to play the game yeah so when you're extended buying a game lease. Uh, it's, 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 it's an like lease <laughs> It's a it's a very extended lease in most cases until you know they shut down the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, when you buy a game, and we talked about this when it comes to uh, emulation and all that sort of stuff, you don't really own the game. You 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 own the license to play the game the way the developers or the the like Nintendo, like the hardware manufacturers, the way they see fit. Right. And it's the same thing now. When you when you buy a game, you're buying a license to play the game, and as you would expect you should get updates bug fixes you know you know changes to like gameplay mechanics and whatnot mm -hmm. like nerfs and buffs and in this case aspects of the game being removed mm -hmm. it's an update technically what you're getting is an update on these games updates don't necessarily have to be new things but update is just a change to the code a right. change to the game to the software or whatever and in this case this change is they're moving things from it yeah it's yeah tough. yeah like yeah so that's what it is scary you don't future. really scary this is future. this is a big reminder you don't really own your games and like you said it definitely touches on the whole preservation of games aspect i couldn't help but think that this like this kind of pushes the needle further towards like yeah maybe people should like emulate games or like get up their games or do all that sort of stuff but even if they do that's not going to change anything because yeah because the yeah, online unless, aspect or a part of it is going to get shut off. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you know the the servers are open source, or people find their own solutions somehow. Some like evil geniuses out there, like you know nerds with like you know a big love for these games, find a, their own solution somehow. But I don't think it's going to happen without like Ubisoft support. doing something about yeah. it first. Yeah, yeah. Having some sort of support, opening source something or or the other. So it's an unfortunate topic. But like I said before, it's not the first time. It won't be the last time. It's going to keep on happening. Well, but it's a, it's, it's a good reminder that happening. you don't know. Yeah, it's definitely going to keep happening. And it's just a good reminder that um, you have to cherish the time that you have with your games right now. Because you never know one year from today <laughs> if you can still like play the game the way you used to. That's horrible. Like Then, then my backlog is useless then if that's yeah, the case. Okay. <laughs> stop wasting time at work and just play video games. Play video games. And what about oh. the new up upcoming games? Are we? Is there going to be support f for that, or we have to worry about those games as well? You have to worry. About, you have to worry about those games, but you'll just have to worry about them way in the future. One mm. such game that you might have to worry about in the future is God of War Ragnarok. That's coming the out next this year. Thing, yeah. The next thing we want to talk about. So yeah, it's coming out this year. Sony Officially. confirmed. Officially. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, been I mean, yeah, it's been officially confirmed coming out on september was it 30th november no november, november. 9th. oh so oh, september is something else sorry november 9th yeah, yeah on ps4 and ps5 uh they not only just confirmed that they also announced special editions uh for the games the collector's edition and the, the, the money edition. the money makers for them the the, oh yeah really yeah they, they had unboxing videos of the whole thing but before before we go into that they I just want to like condemn some people really oh, quickly. Please go ahead, go for it. Yeah. Uh, so they announced, uh, or they they revealed, or they showed a thirty second CGI trailer of the game. It's just kind of like 
a quick sort of like hype thing that doesn't really tell much as far as i can tell doesn't really tell much about the game or the story or the gameplay or anything of that sort and it had a this like really awesome line uh that was like said by both kratos and Atreus. Atreus? atreus 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 yeah atreus Atreus. yeah I blasphemous blasphemous dude. <laughs> never played the game not really a common name my double bad <laughs> double blasphemy there. Anyway, so together on. they they say uh uh when you are at your weakest and fear and doubt are a burden too heavy to bear remember this you are not alone nice quote very nice quote um so yeah that was the 30 second cgi uh, uh trailer and the people that want to condemn are the people that like got annoyed like why did they show us the CGI trailer show? Yeah, the I saw that. Trailer? Like, I saw, I saw like, that. It as was well. a I big thing online, and it came just like a few weeks after this. Like these fans should not be called fans. They People complained. Like first, it was like, "Is it coming this year? Why can't you tell us it's coming this year?" Like there was a whole thing as well leading up to that. You know, Remember yeah, that? yeah, but that, yeah, yeah, but that whole thing is that they were sending. Uh, I want to find the right terminology for this because I don't want to like. Oh, oh, they have to like bad. censor or whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh. hold on. Oh, just a second. You really have to look up the terminology. They were sending. No, I don't want to say that because I don't know like if it's going to be flagged or whatever or anything like that. But it's not I saw... be flagged. It's true. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. No, I just don't want to say the word. They were sending unsolicited nudes. That's the word you didn't want to say. What did you want to no, say? No, no, that's the word. That's what I wanted to say. What I didn't want to oh. say was I'll tell just you say off it camera. And bleep, it, bleep it out. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, I Fine. don't want to say <laughs> unsolicited nudes. Yeah, because yes. I read that somewhere. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the PG the PG version of the of this term. So they're sending unsolic- unsolicited nudes uh, by DMing the cinematics producer so Estelle bad. Tigani, it's asking so her like when when yeah when the game is gonna come out, and she obviously condemned them on Twitter, and she's like, do you guys actually think that's gonna work? Like, has this ever worked in your life like in your lives where you send like these kind of pics and like you know you don't get what provoke you want the internet don't provoke yeah like, no but they like no those guys were like it's, it's stupid it's idiotic yeah. they're assholes exactly no, they are, so that I'm happened uh, a few weeks ago uh, it was rumored that the game would de- that the release date would be announced like late june but that didn't happen so mm. they announced it earlier this week it's coming out november 9th and then people started complaining about the CGI trailer. I mean, it's it's, Nobody's it's God of yeah. War. I mean, yeah, why sure. why are you so angry? And the tr- I, the, I know it was well, a have teaser. You, if you played the game, you know Kratos, Daddy Kratos is always angry. So I guess it speaks no, to the fans. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, why are you angry that you're getting an announcement? Like, I mean, just be happy with it. Yeah, you no have to release no date. Ever happy. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if there's something else, like, you know, something in the community that's like, you know, stirring all of this up you know but i just think it's stupid and we don't deserve good things like because of people like that we don't deserve good things uh it was the same for uh ron gilbert unfortunately he was also like bullied uh, off of his twitter thing i don't know if you if you saw that he's the creator for uh monkey island um oh no i did not know that what happened it was so bad even even uh, jeff Keeley like tweeted at him and like made like you know don't let a few people like bully you i'm, I'm paraphrasing what, what yeah but what were people angry about like uh i if i can't remember the specifics i think they just weren't happy with the game or the way the look the game of looked i think if i'm not mistaken and he he was pretty much bullied online or on twitter to the point where he had to block his account it's it oh, happened recently yeah that's ridiculous but god it's, damn it's just as bad as this you know but like the, no one has stop their account i don't think but i'm gonna double check what what happened uh, all right Gilbert, uh actually Gilbert. just send that to me later let's just continue with the rest of the yeah yeah go for it yeah with like it was just no idea yeah it's terrible yeah. like gamers not even gamers just people just be nice don't be assholes like yeah chill chill the f out everyone like what what is it's games it's a passion like we're all passionate about these games but like let the developers make the games for you that's it and let don't them do harass it. them and don't send unsolicited nudes you can like, say the don't... word and just bleep yourself <laughs> i i know i'm i'm gonna stick with my guns yeah <laughs> okay fine <laughs> Uh, but anyways, they they also had a, about like a seven minute video um, yeah. with the art director I forgot his name and the voice of Thor I forgot his name, 
Uh, they were unboxing these two collector's insert, editions. Insert name, just insert name. In insert, there. <laughs> insert name here, yeah. But not, that won't work with the audio podcast. Um, so you, uh, the, so there's the collector's edition, and then there's the Jotnar's edition. Mm-hmm. No announcement or no reveal on the prices or anything of that sort, or if they're going to be available from day one. But they they did show off what what uh, what you can get. What's so if in you them. yeah, what's in them? Yeah. So if you pre-order the game. You do get some bonuses. You get the the Risen Snow armor um, for Kratos, and uh, for Atreus, you get the Risen Snow tunic. Right? I don't know what that means. Sure. I know it's armor clothing, and tunic. Yeah, clothing, yeah, exactly. Whatever. Yeah, but I don't know if it's like relevant somehow to the game or whatever. Like you know, it might yeah. be. But like I'm like I yeah. played God of War twice and I platinum, or I was about to platinum that game. No, actually, I did platinum that game. I, oh, I love that game that much. Yeah, I just saying, yeah. like, I've played it enough, but like I don't remember a specific armor from the first one. It might be okay. Yeah, yeah, it might be. So like that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it if it is somehow relevant to the game or to the previous games. But anyways, so let's start with the the digital, digital deluxe. deluxe, deluxe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so you get the full God of War game on PS4, PS5. Which we'll touch up on that about what the full game means. Uh, mm-hmm. The creators and how dark... full it really is. Yeah, uh, Darkdale armor, Atreus Darkdale attire. You get the blades, handles for the blades of chaos. That's cool. Like blades of chaos mm-hmm. is always fun. And you get the axe grip, uh, Darkdale axe grip for Leviathan axe, which is the best. Like that boomerang axe. It's the coolest thing ever. Uh, you get the official soundtrack, which I think is always good. The music in the first one was amazing, so I'm sure as heck the second one will be. Um, you get a digital mini art book, uh, which I think they had one in the first one. There was a God of War art book or a comic, if I'm not mistaken, the first game. Uh, the Avatar set, I think that's for your like profile on PlayStation and a PS4 theme as well. Uh, and the edition will also include um, a printed voucher code. Oh, here we go. So it's not the full this game. Is, this is the big issue, yeah. This is the big issue. It's a voucher code in a steel book case, if I'm not mistaken, in a steel display case, which doesn't have a yeah. disc. It just has the code to download the game. So this is what everyone just lost their collective minds on. And this is what we were talking about, about preserving games. Like, yes. you're not even getting a physical game anymore. It's just digital only. And I can't <laughs> remember which game it was, but it ha- like there was a big deal about another collector's edition that came out, I think last year or something like that where it did not have the physical game. Yeah. Uh, like you're paying so was. much money yeah, for this you collection. Don't get the disc. Yeah, you don't get the disc or like and anything. I'm sorry, like you're a collector. I, like I'm not a, I, I don't claim to know about collector's edition or collect games, but I have a few collector's edition. Me too. And you, yeah. want, you want that physical game to complete the set or to have, be like, look, I have the disc or, or the cartridge or whatever of this game. Yeah. Yeah. Collectors want something physical, not the digital. I'm sorry. So they don't know their audience at all. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Weird. Yeah. Uh, like when Thor's voice actor like was taking out the items. Like the, the, now the box, by the way, is cool. Like it looks great. It's, it's beautiful. The, and what's it's it called? the shrine in... something. Like, yeah, yeah. It's... Uh, the uh, the tree of life or something. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. It shows yeah. it shows like this beautiful artwork and everything and like there's boxes or trays that open up. There's like compartments that you can yeah, yeah. exactly. It's so, so when cool. he was t- when he when he took out the steel bookcase or the steel the, the the steel display case, the first thing I noticed was that's small. Like before I realized because they had a little thing in the bottom of the video that said that uh-huh. physical game not included or whatever. But like it was like are like is he just huge or is like the 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 case like too tiny for a desk? I feel like it's both. He is huge. He's a big guy. Dude. He's a big guy. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be voicing Thor, you need to be a big guy. Yeah. Um, and then he just opened up a little bit just so he can like prop it on the table. And I'm like, oh my God, really? Like the game is not included again. <laughs> it's a it's, letdown. It's, it's, a, let it's down. a letdown. It's a letdown. The whole thing is amazing, but it's a letdown. If you want to have the physical game with you, if you're like a collector, and you care so much about the game that you're paying. Exactly. I don't know how much it hasn't been announced yet, but you're paying an extra amount of money to get the collector's edition or the Jotnar's edition, which we'll talk about as well. You care about having the physical disc with you. Yeah, so exactly. you'll have to pay extra to buy that game. They should at the very least, at the very least, have some sort of like, I don't know, combo discount thing. If you're going to buy the collector's edition and yeah. whatever disc, you get the disc at 
fifty uh, percent off. Like it still doesn't least, make sense. It doesn't it make still sense. Still doesn't make sense. You're playing. You're, you're you're buying the game twice. I don't want to argue about this. Like it just clearly, you know, black and white does not make sense. Like yeah. you should have but the game, and that's it. The the or collector's physical. edition looks great. Yeah. Like I'm not. I didn't play the games. I saw it. I was like, that's cool. They're, but then obviously cool. the Yotnars edition is a lot. Well, let's let's finish that we didn't even finish the the main collector's edition you get we like didn't even a, get into the collector's edition yeah we're, yeah we're talking about the deluxe edition so the it, collector's edition that's what comes in the box yeah so so you get this two inch veneer twins carving uh which is the same style as atreus it's just wooden carving of the huldar brothers from god of war which are the the dwarf brothers which is very very cool like they they were fun like always to uh, to interact with and like you know they, they were the main people to upgrade your gear the whole time or like get better in the game so they were a main part of the game um and then you also get the dwarven dice set which looks like a dnd dice set which looks amazing um so it's like quality wood like finished dice and you get yeah, a bag it looks well. like it was a wooden dice set yeah 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 it, it's just a nice touch like these are nice like other than the no disc thing these are nice uh, and you get a 16 inch uh, Mjolnir replica. I, I oh wait, I thought you played the games. And How do you say? <laughs> well, this is this is which one? Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Okay, I was close. Haven't you seen replica. the movie Thor? That's the name of his hammer. That's a uh, yeah, it's like part part of the mythology. Mjolnir, Mjolnir. replica, which is which is the hammer, which looks very very cool. Yeah, for Thor. yeah, yeah, it looks and, and um, again the Thor the voice actor said several times, uh, like all of these items have heft to them. Yeah, which I think specifically for the the 16 inch Mjolnir replica matters a lot. Like if it feels like a plastic toy, You're yes, not gonna it looks it, yeah. great, but you still want to swing that around, right? So I really hope that it really has some heft to it, and in case there's a break in at home, you can use it to protect yourself. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then there's the Jot uh, Jotnar edition. Jot uh, Jotnar. Jotnar edition. Sorry. I'm, I'm butchering names as well. It, it started it's what with we you do. It's what we yeah. do. It's what we do. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, other than the the non game, the non physical game, you get a seven inch vinyl record, which I found was a nice touch mm, of the music yeah. by Bear McCar McCreary, I think. McCreary, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which includes two tracks from uh from the game, on a seven inch vinyl record. I think I think that's cool. Um, you also get a, a pin set, the Falcon, Bear, and Wolf pin set. Uh, representing the characters in the game, uh, Faye, Faye Kratos, Kratos, and Rit uh, Treyas, respectively. I, uh, the pin set looked nice. Yeah, like it, it looked, it looked really, really nice. Yeah. The the whole edition is nice. It's just that mm. one thing that we just complained about. But anyway, yep. uh, and you get the legendary Dropnir ring, a ring from Norse mythology, the legendary Dropnir. Again, this wasn't in the first game, so that's why I don't yeah, know yeah. the name. Uh, and it comes I'm assuming love. Mjolnir was also not in the first yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thor, I think Thor was mentioned maybe a few times, one or two times, but he wasn't a character. Yeah, I, uh, I know he's a character for the first time in Ragnarok. Yeah. So I don't know if he was mentioned before or like if his, if his hammer was mentioned. That was just busting your balls. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. You also get another dice set or you get the Brox dice set. No, no I, uh, yeah, I think you get that instead of the, oh, the wooden okay. one. This yeah. is a metallic dice set. So again, Ooh. weapons. Yeah. <laughs> like these yeah. weapons, you just chuck it at people, kill them. Yeah, just like, you know, throw them in the air and then chuck them using Mjolnir. Just yeah. kind of like bat them at people. Yeah. <laughs> So you get like the, the that metallic die set, and then you get like this cloth map of uh, the tree. Uh, you drizzle, you drizzle. How do you say it? Oh, anyway, oh, the, no, I'm, uh, tree, I'm, tree I'm of not life. Going to attempt that. Yeah, yeah the tree yeah. of life. Yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> map of that and shows the nine realms with the branches of the roots, roots of the tree. It's very nice. Yeah. That was also in the first game, like the nine realms, mm, but you mm. could access only some of them. Um, oh, nice! So it's opened up now. Yeah, it's probably. I don't know yeah. how it's going to play into it, but it's it looks cool. Like they've they've already had the world like fleshed out. I think from the beginning, they're just like mm. expanding on it, and that's it. Yeah, that's these. It. Uh, so yeah, the things that you just mentioned for the Jotnar's edition. That's on. Like you'll get that as well as everything in the collector's edition. So well, except for the dice set, I think that's just going to be the replacement. But you'll get Mjolnir, you'll get the twin carvings, and you'll yeah. get the stupid steel book display case i don't know why you need that if there's no disc inside it but anyways yeah it's yeah. so lame so lame anyway it really fine. is it really is so uh that's it um no announcement on on the price and i don't even i'm assuming they're going to be available for pre-order 
with the game at some point, not like at a later date. I don't know they, if they're going to be shipped the, on day yeah. one. No information on that at all. But the, in the video, they mentioned like it, the pre-orders are going to open up soon. I can't remember when, but they'll open yes. up soon. Yeah. Um, hopefully, everything will be available at the same time as like the standard edition. So people don't have to wait too long. But mm. I mean, this involves actually shipping like a big box. I was going to say shipping a, is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a heavy be a box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. Now, since the game is, the physical game is not available. It's lighter. <laughs> well, no, not that. What I'm thinking is that if people do pre-order it and they still want to be able to play the game on day one, maybe like they'll email them the voucher code so that if it's like lost in shipping or if it's like taking a long time in shipping they'll be able to play the game uh, that's and then the they'll just... situation yeah yeah i think so yeah yeah and maybe that was their reasoning for like oh this is why we didn't include the disc because we want you to be able to play the game on day one and you know the box might be like lost somewhere in the sea lies, lies. I, yeah, doubt I, it. I doubt it i doubt it i just i don't know um yeah Last so thing finally list? Yeah, yeah finally just a really quick uh we don't even know how to say this. Nacon, 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 right? Nacon. Yeah. yeah. Not, not, not Nikon. That's no Nacon. So they, I mean, like I again, I was not aware that this existed, but they they had a showcase. They had a yeah. They had a, like an hour and a half showcase, I think, or an hour showcase. Um, yeah. So and what's it? What is a Nacon? You may ask. They're they're and, a French uh, games publisher, apparently, that I never heard of until today or yeah, yesterday. Me neither. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When I saw the announcements last week, I'm like, "Huh, okay." Yeah, they're like so. a lot of these announcements are popping up. Something must have happened. Oh, Nikon. Oh, what? Okay. So yeah, uh, an hour and a half. That's a that's a substantial showcase. They made a few announcements, like a bunch of announcements. Really, we yeah. just want to talk about a couple of them. The really headline quick. news. The, the one that made the headline news that made Nikon like known i think to us and everyone else in the world uh, yeah uh, probably yeah robocop rogue city like to me this game uh, new announcement out of nowhere by these guys was wow like i'm excited for this game like and i never even heard of it until now <laughs> <laughs> well because you 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 love the movies right the original movies yeah. in the 80s 1987 was the first robocop the first um, one yeah, yeah. With, with peter weller was 1987 yeah, man, we grew up on these movies. Like, they're classics. They're great movies. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was great because they're also they're bringing back Peter Weller. Peter Weller. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Robocop in the game is going to look like him. Like, you know, the his OG head, Robocop. Right? Yeah. yeah. The OG Robocop. And he's also going to be doing the voiceover as well. And they, this is what I really like about this announcement. This is going to be a continuation of, like, of the movies, the original movies, which is awesome. Like, yeah. it's great that... I know I don't remember much from the story. I know about this organization and like you know crime in Detroit and like yeah. I know the you like, know the, the basics, main story beats. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the main story beats, but I don't really like know exactly how the the, the whole thing ended. But to be able to continue a storyline forty well or thirty ish years later in a different medium, it's dope. Like yeah. it's yeah, it's really dope. It's great. So it's gonna make really me cool. want to go watch back watch the movies again just to like catch up probably yeah, yeah who knows and maybe this is going to be like a because they did reboot like remake the movie a few years ago they did yeah it, it didn't do okay. too well yeah, yeah exactly yeah it didn't do too well so maybe this is kind of like their second attempt at rebooting the franchise and we maybe. can start seeing but like more original cast games or, original or more or like a or like a tv show or a movie oh, or cool. something that would be really, really like cool. If, even if it's a CG TV show and then they just use Peter Weller as the voiceover, I, I'd be happy with that. Like, I'd be I'd be all right with that, personally. And unfortunately, it's coming out in June 2023, so there's still a bit of a wait. Um, coming to everything you can imagine, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PC, Steam, and Epic's Game Store, and apparently the Switch. Switch. Somehow. Somehow that creeped Blew in. me <laughs> off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, um, I couldn't help but think that ray tracing on this would look amazing, but it's an FPS game, so you won't really be seeing his body all the time. But if it was a third person, maybe in CG and, and like the cutscenes, sorry, not CG and the cutscenes. Yeah, probably... but like ray tracing kind of really matters when you're like in gameplay, like you know, it, like in the game, right? Because uh, things can look awesome and amazing in CG. They don't really, as far as I know, I don't think they need ray tracing for that. It's all like rendered, unless it's a 
like rendered with the gameplay engine or something. I don't know. Mm. But like imagine a third person global cop with his like metallic chrome body and then like this amazing ray tracing thing that they're I mean, it's going we'll to be visually see. just know. awesome. Maybe there's yeah. a third person option in RoboCop Rogue City. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Who knows? Maybe they introduce another like RoboCop in the game. He's like the dark samus of the game <laughs> that you have to like get. Whatever uh, they get, they're going to give me, I'm going to play it for sure. Yeah, it's it's bloody and gory and like action packed like from the trailer you can t- kind of tell this is they're 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 keeping the roots of the game. Like the the, the roots true of the movies. Roots. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, true roots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're true to the roots of the movie. Sorry, that's what I what I meant to say. Um, what else? Yeah, Golem, Lord of the Rings, Golem. We this, we know about this game existing. We've before. heard about it. Yeah, we've like, heard about it. In 2019, they talked about it. Like we, they just showed off more gameplay about the game. Uh, yeah. So Lord of the Rings, Golem. Um, it's actually an action adventure game, and it looks. I think it is. It's a stealthy kind of game because you're Gollum the whole time. And yeah, yeah. as we know from the movies, he's like sneaking everywhere yeah. with Middle Earth, you know? So it will make but sense. I, it's gonna I, be I a... have a problem with that. How, Do you why? see any action in the trailer? I would say it's a stealth adventure game. My, like That's how I would categorize it because okay. the whole thing was him like sneaking around and the only action that you see is him throwing a pebble like into... To uh, distract. To uh, distract. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, like that's the only action that was happening. We have to see. Maybe when he's caught, <laughs> he has to, to fight. Yeah, but it is described yeah. as an action adventure game. <laughs> but you're right. I think the stealth routes or the stealth is going to be predominantly uh, focused on because mm. the developer, um, Dialic, uh, oh, sorry, Dialic Entertainment, are actually the same guys who made Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. Which mm. is an awesome. Go download the de- the demo. It's like free um, to play, and it's it's just an awesome like ninja or or uh, yeah ninja stealth action game or like it's just a cool game. And it's mm. like an RTS stealth game. Check it so, out. So they have like a background in the stealth games or like yeah. stealth gameplay at least. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they're in, like the game is going to be good in that regards at least. Um, and it's actually coming out later this year, 1st of September. That was a surprise. Like, that's mm. a surprise announcement. So it's coming on PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, with a Switch version eventually at a later date. But we'll have to see. All right. Yeah, it could be like a, a cloud version or something. Or maybe, wow. I don't know. They, they didn't mention, but I'm just saying that maybe that, that's something that they'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these really are just the two quick announcements we wanted to talk about. They did uh, also show gameplay trailers for Steel Rising, which uh, I thought like looked really fun. Yeah. Uh, Add Infinitum, Blood uh, Blood Bowl, no Blood Bowl, Bowl three, three, sorry, three. yeah, yeah, Blood Bowl three, and this you wanted to specifically mention Chef yeah. Life. Uh, Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. I wanted to shout out, and I probably will link him later. Nico Chef. He's like this VR tuber that uh, he's really cool. Uh, I I watch him from time to time. He used to watch me. He's, he, he used to say I'm the only back then the only Twitch streamer he used to watch. But like since I'm not there, I'm sure he's moved on. It's fine. But uh, I'm gonna be sh- shouting him out and linking this to him because I'm sure he'll get a kick out of this game. Nice. So yeah. And yeah. there's one last uh, thing. More importantly, thing. exactly. They had a a really quick really short teaser Two, three huh? seconds yeah yeah exactly well maybe a bit longer but yeah it was like super super like super super short maybe 15 seconds actually for the new terminator game and it was a Out cgi teaser yeah. we know nothing at all we don't even know like what the title of the game is going to be we don't know who the characters are going to be what the gameplay is like all we know is that there is going to be what are they called t1000s or t whatever like the the terminator yeah yeah, yeah. And now those would look amazing in ray tracing. Ray tracing, yeah. I yeah. think that's why they're doing it again. They're like, we're going to do it right this time. <laughs> yeah, with like, ray tracing. Bring, bring back the 80s. Like Termin- Terminator came out in 84. The Robocop came out in 87. I mean... That's true. Yeah, yeah they started the show with one of them. I think I think Robocop was the first announcement, and then they ended it with Terminator. That's true. It started with Robocop, ended it with Terminator. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, bring back the '80s, baby! And like, I'm excited. Um, Let's do it. We have Let, to wait and see what the Terminator oh, game is going to be like. Uh, what was that movie with Eddie Murphy and he was a cop? Uh, like, oh, ma- make a game out Be- of that. Be- Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, make a game out franchise. of that. Franchise. It was yeah. great. I-, I love those movies. Let-, let GTA take a kick out of that game. Take the franchise. <laughs> turn it. Use Eddie Murphy. Put him like 
similar to GTA. It's like a similar style, and that's it. There you go. GTA Great 6 game. starring Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Like Vice yeah. City, GTA Vice City, but like with, yeah. uh, what's his name? What was, what Axel was his Foley? Name? Ax- Axel, Axel Foley. Foley. Axel yeah. Foley. Axel Foley. Yeah, Axel Foley. I got it. Yeah. I still remember, yeah. man. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Well, we got to end this. I got to head to work. Uh, yeah. You got to continue work. I got to continue so, work. So we <laughs> yeah. had fun. That was a fun talk. Yeah, that was great. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the episode. Do drop us a like or comment and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Or head on to badgood.gg to find the audio podcast. We will also we are also on Twitter and Instagram at badgoodpod. So give us a follow there and we'll catch you in the next one.